feeling very nostalgic today. Right now, we're just a few minutes away from the launch of the new Sims 4 pack, High School Years. I'm channeling my inner high school self right now with what I have available. You know, it's such an American thing to be like, high school's the best years of your life, you're gonna miss it when you're done. But I, I didn't enjoy high school because I was always one of the weird kids. I was a hot topic goth kid, I was an anime kid, and I was the socially awkward kid. I was bullied and I only had a small close-knit group of friends. By the end of my senior year, I was having lunch with my English teacher. Shout out Miss Americk. She also got me a blanket and it's really cozy and I still have it to this day like 12 years later. And I promise this is all related to this video. I'm not just going on a rant. I mean, I'm kind of going on a rant, but it's 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 all related, don't worry. But one of my core memories from high school is The Sims. And I have this distinct memory of sitting in my mom's bedroom on my first laptop. And I was on old school YouTube and I saw my first Sims Let's Play. For the life of me, I can't remember who the creator was because again, this was like 2008, 2009, but they played with the Pleasant Sisters. And it was a high school story. They would pose the sibs and they would tell stories. And this was at a time in my life where it really felt like it was myself and my older sister against the world. Because when you're a teenager and, and you're not just seeing common sense, it, it just feels like everyone and everything is against you. So I really just fell headfirst into the story and I binge watched their entire series. And it's still now to this day, again, like 12 years later, it's a core memory. And one of the reasons that the Sims community and watching Sims Let's Play videos is held so near and dear to my heart because it's something that really helped me through a really tough time in my life. And I remember it to this day, so I'm feeling nostalgic at this pack coming out. I know it has its issues. I know it's not perfect. There are so many things that I've seen from early gameplay that I, I just wish were better but that's not going to stop my excitement and thinking back to my younger self. And I'm, I don't know why I'm getting emotional at this, but thinking back to my high school self in my mom's bedroom watching Sims videos. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that's making me emotional. I'm a crier, so get used to it. <laughs> so with that, it is now 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I have a fun storyline in store. So I hope you stick around and enjoy it with me. Welcome to The Sims 4 High School Years. Experience high school, experience all the ups and downs of high school, attend classes in person, get to know your teachers, hang out in the cafeteria, and even decorate your locker. Iconic teen moments. Dance the night away at prom and celebrate your graduation ceremony with family and friends. Make lifelong friends. Participate in after school activities. Lol. And experience the roller coaster of puberty. Get it? Roller coaster. I really wish the pier wasn't just full of rabbit holes, but I digress. And shake things up. High school is a time of self-discovery. Find the confidence to ask your crush out or the guts to skip class. Teens will explore their own likes and dislikes. Hopefully there's new ones. Uh, pranks and sneaking out after dark can have consequences. Be careful so you don't get caught. Explore your style, make your bedroom your own, plan outfits, and become a Simfluencer. Teens can earn money by selling outfits and hyping up looks they design on Trendy right from their bedrooms, which are now more interactive than ever. The world icon is so cute. Okay, this is new. High school experience for teens. You can build and modify the high school and auditorium. Customize the auditorium for graduation, formal dances, and career day. Share them to the gallery or download others' creations for these specific lots in Copperdale's Rock Ridge Heights. We like to start customizing. Kind of want to get into the gameplay part of this. I already have my Sims planned out who we're going to play the pack with. Uh, temporarily slide right down. This is Variety K, lovingly called Riot by her close friends. So I actually want to check out the new teen aspirations. Goal-oriented, the sim wants to be the best. Grades check, sports check, money check. The road to success is being paved. Drama llama, this sim wants all the drama all the time. Mood. Uh, live fast, this sim aims to get the most out of life by living carefree and rules-free. Admired icon, this sim wants to be a trendsetter, popular, and influential, a true icon. I'm going to go for this first one, Live Fast, and that gives us the relatable trait. Relatable Sims build friendly relationships with fellow teens faster. 
I do wonder how that pairs with socially awkward, since this means they struggle in social situations. We're gonna try it and just see how much we hate it. I've also given her the clumsy trait because I just think it's funny. And then we have River, who I've gone ahead and given him the party animal trait, since that's one of the other new ones that comes with this pack. I didn't get the chance to do all their outfits. I did want to see all the stuff that comes with high school years because a lot of it's actually really cute. Before I get too far into that though, I do want to talk a little bit about who these sims are. So meet Variety Riot Kane. She is a freshman and her brother River is a high school dropout. I've actually done a little bit of behind the scenes magic so that he is technically a high school dropout in the game and he's now a, a young adult. So after their mother Amelia vanishes in a locked room mystery, the two are certain that they will find the answers to her disappearance in Copperdale's urban legends. So one of my goals in this let's play is really just to explore all aspects of the pack. I really want to get into the urban legends. I want to go just explore the pier. There's like the spooky eyes that showed up under the boardwalk in the, the live stream. So that's a really big thing that I want to get into. So we don't know much yet about, uh, about Riot. Can she live up to her name? She's a little awkward, a little clumsy. Ain't we all at that age? And she's just aged up into a teenager. So I'm going to kind of go for that. We haven't quite found our style type of look and see what we come up with. I think I found a good kind of match up, a good marriage of the new outfits and custom content. There's a lot of good items in this pack. I'm actually really excited, but some of these, they don't have like alternate color swatches. I'd be really curious to see what uh, like custom content creators can do to make more swatches. Cause I just think these would be really cute if they had different swatches as well. But even like this has different swatches that goes from like that kind of entry level anime kind of kid to it looks like someone who probably just aged up from a child or preteen into a teenager. And then apparently bucket hats are back in style so that's interesting. So we have our nifty little bucket hat here and then one of the new kind of prop hoodies. Ooh, that coral is also like really cute. But what I'm really going for with variety is well a variety. <laughs> Uh, she doesn't really know what her what her style is yet, so she's just kind of experimenting and really just doing what teenagers do best. And then we have the more kind of innocent look of yeah, she's she's a freshman. I really like the new hairs that came with this pack. Like this one's just so cute. I know for myself in in high school, I was always doing all kinds of weird things with my hair. I mean, I have this is very much something I would do back in high school and just different braids and just like teasing your hair to make it look super wild and I feel like this really captures that cute awkwardness as as you're experimenting with your hair and trying to figure yourself out. And then right now in my game it is summer, so hot weather look. We have this one which is very casual, very simple. And then this one bringing the bucket hat back. And it just very much reminds me of myself in high school because I would wear fishnets under like everything. Just gives a certain level of depth, you know? And then cold weather, I don't really know entirely what's going on and that's part of the fun. So then over to River, I gave him one of the four male hairs that we get with the pack and it has this really cool fade in the back. So I liked that, but I, I gotta say, male clothing is kind of lackluster. A little bit of a letdown. Again, similarly, there aren't separate swatches for some of these. They look really cool, but I wish a separate swatch existed. I really like the concept of this one, but something about it just feels like that one kid from like Christmas story where he's like all bundled up and he has like no form left to him. So I like the concept of it. Execution, eh, not so much. This one also, this one's actually pretty good. Um, I mean it does clip but this is custom content pants so that's kind of to be expected. And then a lot of these just look like school shirts. 
This one's fun. That one would be really good for like a nerdy sim. And then these ones also, I mean, it's just like the chess club, the, it's their, their uniforms, I think. This one also really good entry level, like nerdy anime kid. But yeah, just a little, little bit of a letdown. So our sims are ready. We are hopping into the game, just not in this outfit. This one, this is a good first day of school outfit if I've ever seen one make an impact. And here we are on our home lot, starting on a Wednesday, because apparently I like to skip ahead. The calendar was highlighted, so let's see what is happening. There is a football game tomorrow, cheerleading team on Friday, and then prom, or I'm going to call it homecoming. Let's call it homecoming. That's going to be on Saturday. This is a house that I downloaded from the gallery and just switched around slightly to better match the characters and their personalities. It's by Simlacy, and it's a really awesome build that they did for the pack. So we have Variety's Room over here, which is a little bit more neutral. Again, we don't really know uh, too much about her style yet. And then we have Rain's Room. There's also their mother's room, who of course is, uh, is missing, and they're going to try to figure out what's going on with her during this Let's Play. But we're about to head off to school, so heck yeah. This is what the pack is all about after all, so see what's going on in the, in the school today. I've also downloaded a different school because I really wasn't a huge fan of uh, just how spread out everything was in the original school. So this law is also by Simlacy, and it's a really easy download base game and this pack only. Molly is really just doing the T-pose right in the middle of the hallway, kind of blocking the path for everyone. So we are going to uh, study for exams and then we're going to clean a locker. I find it so funny that all the Sims are just hanging out in the principal's office. Like that's, that's the Sims for you, you know? Looks like we took care of our task of studying even though we're not finished. So we're going to try to make friends and we'll see how actually horrible and difficult this is with the socially awkward trait. Oh, we're really just we're really claiming our territory here, sitting in the principal seat. But awesome, it looks like we had a want to interact with other students. Let's try our our best here to make a good impression and not be horrible. So far, so good. Looks like class is about to start, so let's head over. We don't want to be late. I was trying to figure out which one to go to because this one's technically closer, but I guess we're headed over to art class. Neat. I really wish we could actually do art in art class and not just <laughs> stare at a board with uh, shapes and fruits on it. But that also kind of feels like high school art class in a way. Well, look at this. The classroom is actually pretty, pretty full. And another want down. I'm trying to see if like there's anything we can do while in class, but I, I really don't think there is. Like we can't disrupt anything, we can't pass notes, we can't throw paper airplanes, which is a bit of a bummer. So we'll have Rain work on his charisma while he's at home, because since he is a high school dropout, he can't get the same job opportunities as regular normal sims. He is a musical genius, he has the genius trait, and that's really where his passion is. So really quickly, I am going to move my webcam because I realize we can't see the school day. This is why I normally have my webcam in this place, but it feels so out of the norm when there isn't an event going on, but it works here. All right, so lunchtime. We're not feeling super hungry, so let's take care of this be friendly with a faculty member and we're going to introduce ourselves to the cafeteria lady. <laughs> and now that we've awkwardly done that, let's introduce ourselves or just be friendly with another student. Suddenly everyone is dressed in club attire, which is interesting. It makes me feel like the odd woman out, but I feel like that's also just properly in line for variety. She's a little bit of an awkward bean. 
I think we're just gonna do our best to be friendly with everyone. We acquired the charisma skill, which is awesome. We're gonna give Morgan a heartfelt compliment. Looks like we're building some different sentiments with people. All right, this is from the first impressions mod. So Variety thinks that Christian's pretentious and he thinks she's immature. Well, buddy, you're, you're not wrong. We're literally teenagers. You're supposed to be immature. We also think that Cassandra's in a little bit of a dreamland. I mean, she's a trust fund baby, so she kind of is in a little bit of a dreamland. And she also thinks we're immature. I'm starting to sense a theme here. I don't know if I like it. Okay, we think that Ava is fun to be around and she thinks we're funny. That is, that's sweet. <laughs> and so far we do think that Morgan is annoying and she also thinks we're immature. Everyone thinks we're immature. I don't know how I feel about this, but maybe I should honestly lean into it. Our brother is known to be a bit of a prankster. He is very mischievous, so maybe we just kind of inherited that. See, Molly also thinks that we're immature. So you know what? Okay, I think we're just gonna own it at this point. They think we're immature, we'll show them immature. And once again, someone thinks we're immature. There will be an exam prep session after school today. All students are free to join us in class two's room for as long as you'd like. Attendance is not required, but please keep in mind that there is an exam on Friday. Make sure you're prepared. Who wants to do exam prep? I think we're gonna lean into the immature, mischievous side of things. Learn the programming skill. See, this is one thing I do really like about this pack so far because base game school, you don't really learn anything at school. You can with mods, but not everyone has access to mods. So I, this is a really nice organic way to be building these skills as we have the different classes. Cause what are we in right now? Yeah, computer science class. So we just learned programming. So that's really cool. Variety fumbled her words when talking to another Sim in class today. Not terribly surprised. She didn't mean to imply that they looked like a llama. It was supposed to be a compliment. Oh. This just comes from that socially awkwardness. She was trying to say they're cute like a llama, not like in a mean way. So I think she'll attempt to apologize because she really does want to make good impressions with people. Phew, that went over well. Variety's relationship is back to normal or rather better than ever. Okay. So taking a look at our aspiration, the live fast troublemaker. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that I picked that. Uh, pull a prank three times. Perfect. People already think we're immature. Get in trouble and sneak out to a party. All right, so these will be good things for us to work on behind the scenes as we start to kind of investigate the urban legends and really just hang out at the pier and stuff. So end of day report. Variety seemed a little inattentive in class today. She should make sure her class skills are up before next week. Rude. I went to class all day. But okay, so who is our enemy? Wolfgang. And we've learned the mischief skill. But I feel like she's just dishing out the energy that she's been given at this point. Because he's called her immature. But you know what? She is going to apologize for it because at the end of the day, she doesn't want to make anyone really feel bad. Oh, that's so funny because she's feeling embarrassed. She can hide in the toilet. Huh? Uh-oh, someone's fighting. Can we watch? Oh, heck yeah, we're witnessing it. She looks so concerned, but then we're just like, hmm. What's happening? What's going on over there? I'm gonna get to know Savannah because she she seems like us and she seems a little a little nosy. She she likes she likes the mess. Meanwhile, Morgan is just sitting here, two feet from it, still squinting, trying to figure it out. This has gone on for a uh, for a hot minute. Man, the teachers aren't even intervening. We're gonna chat with Savannah because we just witnessed this fight together. We are both like super interested in what's going on and maybe maybe she's like us she likes the mess this hallway is starting to feel very crowded i think after this we're gonna head on home see what our see what our brother has been up to all day i am loving this constant ability for them to walk while looking at their phones just adds to the realism you know so rain what have you been up to am i good enough from fear of disappointing parents their disappointed sighs and head shakes could be felt in the whole house. River isn't good enough for them and it's making him uneasy. So he has a fear of disappointing his parents. And we have it right here, high school dropout. That's really, that's technically what this fear is from. But I'm going to put a twist on it for the sake of the story. But while I go on about that, we're going to travel real quick. We're going to come over here to the boardwalk and we're going to put down essentially a, a busking station. Can I not put it down? Maybe I'll have to like... 
place in the world. Let's take it over here. But he's looking after his sister right now. And this is after his mother disappeared really out of nowhere. And he has this fear of disappointing her in that he's not taking proper care of his sister. Because she really disappeared out of nowhere. He was, you know, a senior in high school and they didn't really know what they were doing. They have this house, they have to pay the bills. And he kind of just picked up the mantle as, uh, you know, the older sibling. He dropped out of school and he's kind of just been playing music and busking for tips. So that's what we're going to do here right now. So we're going to busk with a guitar. We're going to try to, to make a little bit of cash. And while we're here, we're going to get a little bit of food and try not to slip because we are clumsy. But I imagine this has been their routine since their mom disappeared and that they come out to the pier, he plays his music, trying to get as, as many tips as he can to help support himself and, and his sister. And Variety just kind of kind of hangs out. So after she finishes eating, she's going to do her homework, make sure she's all set for a productive day at school tomorrow because apparently her performance was lackluster today. And we do see in the background, Savannah is here. And Savannah was the last person who we were talking to today at school. So I think after we do our homework, we're gonna say hey to Savannah and maybe she can become our BFF. So I think she's like a gamer and like maybe a streamer or something. And how you doing over here, Rain? Still, still not feeling, feeling too great. I really hope that uh, this isn't a like permanent, permanent emotion. And then the nearest bathroom, all the way over here. See, that's, that's so strange. There really should be one really near here on the pier. But hey, I'm not a developer, so. So what do I know? So let's see what other things help fix bad relationship. It looks like Savannah and Molly have a little beef. I don't think we're good enough friends yet. Plus, since I'm socially awkward, I don't think it's gonna come across super great. That can, that could be a goal. That could be a goal. A lot of social bunny worthy things happen to Variety today. Oh well, yeah, there is the social bunny aspect of this. Add to contact list. This is our mom, but she's missing, so we can't add her. So let's add Vanna. We'll add the cafeteria lady. She's apparently our friend. And then we'll add Morgan, even though we kind of don't have the best first impressions with her. So let's post something. I'm gonna post about the fight. And since we we love the chaos, we love the mischief, it's gonna be energized. Welcome to the Punch Bowl, home of the punches. Utterly exhilarating to see a fight between foes. All right, I think that's good for now. We have zero followers. Let's see if we can get any friends to follow us back here soon. What a cute, awkward, little friendly, little hello. We're gonna gossip. We're gonna talk about that fight because I think Savannah is our, our drama friend. We all have that one friend that we just, we love to gossip with. And we fall asleep on a bench. All right, well, that's a wrap. I think overall, not a super successful night in terms of tips. So let's go home and we'll try again tomorrow. Savannah is calling us at 4 a.m. I have the go ahead to invite some friends over for a sleepover. Did you want to come over? I mean, I'm sleeping over here. But you know what? Yeah, sure. Okay. We've accepted the invite, but now we need to get away. We could ask for permission or we could sneak out. I mean, it's it's literally 4 a.m. in the morning, so we have to sneak out. So we're sneaking out. We have our, our backpack of our supplies. And we're being real subtle. And it's a rabbit hole. I mean, of course it is. I think that would be so cute, though, if we could sneak over to our friend's place and have a sleepover. And Rain, who's just doing his best, is is up early to cook himself and, and his sister some breakfast. Little does he know that she snuck out and, and he has no idea where she is. But he really is just trying to not, not feel like his mom could be disappointed in him and, you know, the work he's doing to help, help keep his sister on track. Man, how long is this sleepover? He's River should start thinking about further education. I mean, but I want to see what careers he could potentially join. Take me a minute to figure out <laughs> this menu again. So let's see, you must have a high school diploma or an online equivalent to join. Detective, doctor, scientist, astronaut, business, civil designer, education, engineer, law. 
Valerie person, tech guru. This is actually really cool. I I like that this is a built-in part of of the game, and that you can't do certain things unless you have the education. Because then it's like real life. <laughs> Politician, you could still do. All right, let's see. But I think we'll go for barista because it's the highest paying, and it honestly. It feels like that vibe. We'll become a barista and we'll start tomorrow. And that'll help us, you know, pick up a little bit. This is so weird. I noticed somehow River got his trait deleted. So he only had two traits as a young adult somehow. So there you go. You could have your party animal lifestyle back. I feel like with River, he he's a very social person. I would see him as having a very large friend group, so, you know, maybe that's something that we work on. And it would very much be a do as I say, not as I do, in terms of how he would be raising his sister. Because right next to his bedroom, we have the sneak out window and ladders. So we know, we know Rain used to sneak out all the time when he was younger. It's just about time for school, and guess who's not home yet? So we'll see her, we'll see her at school. I didn't realize how long I've been recording for. I'm just so engrossed in the game. But that's where we're going to leave it for part one of the high school years Let's Play series. I'm going to continue recording today because I just, I want to play a little while longer. So that means that part two will be out pretty quick here. But if you enjoyed this first part, let me know your thoughts on the teens we've met so far. Please be sure to subscribe if you want to see what happens next in this journey. I'm really excited to explore all the different mischief parts in all this, go to the boardwalk, and we are going to get a date prom. Homecoming. Gonna get a date to homecoming. If you have any predictions on who our homecoming date will be, leave those in the comments and we'll see if you're right in the next video. But with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.